The WGA East and WGA West have appointed the members of their negotiating committee for upcoming contract talks with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, a showdown that could trigger the first writer's strike since 2008. The Guild's current contract expires May 1, 2023. WGA West Executive Director David Young will serve as Chief Negotiator, with former WGA West Presidents David A. Goodman and Chris Kaiser serving as co-chairs. Patrick Amberone, who was President of the WGA West during the 100-day writer's strike of 2007-08, will be one of the 24 members of the Negotiating Committee. In August, during the run-up to the WGA West board elections, several of the candidates who are now serving on the negotiating committee addressed a wide range of issues that could trigger a strike. Angelina Burnett, who won a seat on the board and now serves on the negotiating committee, wrote in her campaign statement that as we head into what may be a conflict negotiation, the board needs as many skilled and experienced leaders as are willing to serve. She then listed a number of gains the members need, and for which they'll be willing to strike. One of those potential strike issues is better minimum and overscale compensation. There seem to be more writers than ever working at or near minimum, she wrote. While the majority of members continue to work above minimum, aka scale, that overscale ceiling has lowered for all but our most successful. This downward pressure has been evident in the data for some time, but now we're also dealing with inflation. A dollar buys less than a year ago. Traditionally, the Guild bargains a 3% increase in minimums every contract cycle, but we do not have a direct mechanism to raise the overscale ceiling. We delegate that responsibility to agencies. What the Guild can do is create favorable conditions for agents to raise it as high as possible.